catch up to me one day But for now you can see me headed down that Run way, run way, run way, run What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Hardbody Ty And for today's video That's only my teeth For today's video I want to talk about um A little subject me and my friends At uh, the gym we're talking about uh, which gym we're working out, I'll explain in a little bit, but it kind of ties into different types of people you'll run into in the fitness game. And those, some of those people may be trainers and back up a little bit. Can y'all see me? Some of those people may be trainers. Some of those people may be friends of yours and, and you'll see these types of people everywhere, but more specifically, they kind of fall into one or two categories. Sometimes it's crossed over. Sometimes it's not, but it's pretty much show muscle versus go muscle, right? And you, you'll start to pick this up. <laughs> now that I mentioned it, you'll start to pick this up every time you meet somebody in the gym or in just in fitness in general. Um, not to throw you off too much, I want to give you a brief, but just, just an easy to digest way of understanding what I'm talking about here. When I talk about show muscle, I'm talking about people who train for aesthetics. These are people who are your models, your physique competitors, your traditional style bodybuilders, people whose job is to look good. Show muscle. Now, this is not a knock on bodybuilders. It's not a knock on physique competitors or anything like that. I have friends who are physique competitors, two who just had their first show this year, and another two who are getting ready to go pro, hopefully very, very soon. So this is not a knock on them. And they're, you know, a lot of them tend to be athletic, but their main focus is to look good. They have shows coming up. They got to look good. They have to get really, really cut, really, really lean to go on stage, to pose, things of that nature. Their muscles are for mainly for show. And then you have people who have what I call go muscle. These are people who may not look as good as these bodybuilders, as these physique competitors, and as these models, but they tend to be a little more athletic. They tend to be training for a sport. When I'm talking about these type of people, I'm talking about your gymnasts, your runners, your sprinters. Um, I work out with boxers now, so boxers, MMA fighters. Uh, things like that, um, just just athletes in general, football players, basketball players, soccer. I can go all day into go muscles. Now, there's a difference here, and what the reason why I wanted to explain is because when we get into training, guys, you can definitely have elements of both, but you're naturally going to favor one over the other, and you have to really look at yourself and say, what are my goals? When I start working out, what do I really want to have? Do I want to look good? And you can still look good and be athletic. You can still be athletic, and you know you can definitely have both. But a lot of us tend to get in for different reasons. I know when I first started working out, it was strictly for the physical. I strictly wanted to look good. I was inspired by the cartoon characters I used to watch. Some of them I still watch. <laughs> I was inspired by that. These 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 larger than life characters who had ripped muscles and, and you know wide backs and six pack abs. And I wanted to look like them because their features gain some respect. I think there's a gnat in here, man. Somewhere somewhere in here. But I wanted to look the part now that I'm a little bit older um, and I've played you know light sports worked out with my friends and done things like that I also like to be athletic so as of recently I've been switching my training from not as much weightlifting and heavy pressing and heavy rowing and stuff like that don't get me wrong I still get that in but now I also do a lot of boxing I also do a lot of um, you know footwork and explosive work when I'm in the gym and you know I like to throw punches it's nice to hit and that's why I, I dropped the boxing videos because now I'm kind of in that world I've been doing it I've been sparring I've been getting into that and so the muscles went from just being about show and now they're forced to go okay so you're gonna have a lot of exercises that are in common with both a lot of functionality things and things like that but you have to understand when you get into fitness you you can definitely have elements of both, but a lot of us tend to vary our training for one or the other. So you have to look at yourself and what do you want to have? Do you want to have more of a show muscle, more of a, a nice physique? Maybe you're not into being athletic. Maybe you're not an athletic person. Maybe that's not your thing. You just want to look nice, stay in reasonably low body fat and have a nice, healthy shape. Maybe you're somebody who just wants that show muscle. Maybe you're somebody who's getting into fitness and you're like, look, I don't care how much I look. I want to lift an extreme amount of weight. I want to be able to uh, be very, very fast, be very, very explosive, you know, have things like that, then naturally, I don't need you in the gym doing a whole lot of high volume type of bodybuilding type of training because that may not translate well to your sport, especially in a sport, like I'm saying, I'm speaking from a, from a perspective of a fighter because that's the type of training I'm doing now. The way I was working out before does not translate well 
into what I'm doing now because I noticed it's uh, kind of messing with my flexibility and a, a lot of other things. I'm having shoulder tightness because my muscles are not being used for you know quick twitch the way they were used for heavy pressing, heavy rowing movements. So keep that in mind. Um, but that's basically it. I get a lot of people who ask me about this. Well, how do you stay athletic and get bigger? How do you stay uh, big and swole and cut up, but also look like the bodybuilder and still be able to do the explosive things? You can definitely do both. If you're somebody who's training, and I know bodybuilders who train, and in the off season they do their athletic things and they do their things just to keep their heart rate up. They still do their cardiovascular training, things like that. You can definitely have both. I'm not telling you give up one for the other. But if you're brand new to the fitness game and you're like, look, I want to look like, if you want to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger and if you want to look like Conor McGregor or Floyd Mayweather, I'm just bringing them up because they got to fight. <laughs> but if you want to look like one of the, you know, that's a completely different spectrum of training right there. Look at me. I'm not very big myself. You know, I have nice shoulders, nice arms, but I'm not the biggest dude. And I never got into YouTube or fitness to be the biggest guy. I'm very short. Um, and I'm not very, I'm not very heavy. I never trained for mass. I never trained to say, I want to be bigger. I want to be bigger. No, I always wanted to look good and be athletic. I always wanted to be able to do things that people thought I couldn't do. That's, that's kind of my thing. I love proving people wrong. In order to do that, you have to be strong, but you have to still be explosive. I'm still very, very fast on my feet. Still very light. I have very quick hands. I'm working on my punches. And at the same time, I can still go in there and bench 225, 275 for reps. I'm good over here. And so you just have to figure out that medium as to where you want to be, what you want to look like, what inspires you. And definitely, like I said, mix elements of everything into your training. Don't just be so one dimensional. Like I always tell you guys, the advice is free. Hustle so separately. Show muscle and go muscle. One or the other. Why not have both? Holla at your boy.